Are you considering buying a Tesla Model Y? You might be wondering about its safety performance. In this video, we'll dive into the most significant crash tests the Model Y has been put through to see how it holds up. From deflected crash forces to automatic emergency braking, we'll break down everything you need to know to determine if this vehicle is the smart choice for you and your family. Let's start by looking at the small overlap crash test. This evaluation is a comprehensive and rigorous test that measures the impact of a collision on only 25% of the vehicle's width. This simulation is specifically designed to replicate the effects of a front corner collision with either another vehicle or a stationary object, such as a tree or utility pole. To meet this challenge, Tesla employs a strategy where the vehicle is designed to deflect the crash forces. This results in very little structural intrusion and lower forces experienced by the occupants. Look how calm and controlled the dummy movement is in the Tesla. Let's compare this to the Volkswagen ID4, which doesn't use the crash deflection strategy. Dummy movement is visually not as calm. This difference also shows up in the data when comparing the dummy crash forces between the Tesla and VW. For instance, the Model Y has 17 millimeters of chest compression compared to 27 millimeters in the ID4. Let's move on to the recently updated moderate overlap crash test. This test features a crash test dummy in the rear seat. This is valuable for understanding how rear seat passengers will be protected in a frontal collision. The Tesla aced this test. It did a great job protecting occupants and keeping injury risks low. The rear passenger dummy's head did approach the seat back, but ultimately avoided making contact. Next up is the updated side impact test. This evaluation simulates what would happen if the Model Y was struck by a 4,200-pound SUV at 37 miles per hour. The Tesla proved to be extremely competent in this test. The structure had an exceptional amount of space between the seat center line and B pillar, coming in at a very generous 30 centimeters. The Model Y was also tested in the Euro NCAP's challenging side pole test. As you can see, it did remarkably well in this evaluation with minimal structural intrusion. Having a strong roof is critical during a crash where the vehicle rolls over. The Tesla withstood just over 19,000 pounds of peak force. This is adequate protection, but notably less than many competing vehicles. For example, the Ford Mustang Mach-E took on over 28,000 pounds of peak force. Now let's take a look at the technologies that help to prevent a collision. The automatic emergency braking system uses radar and other sensors to automatically apply the brakes when a collision is imminent. The Model Y's system was tested at 12 and 25 miles per hour. In both tests, the vehicle completely avoided a collision. Let's now evaluate the performance of the headlights, as they play a crucial role in reducing the extra hazards that driving at night can pose. Having high-quality headlights is essential for ensuring better visibility and safety on the road. The base headlights scored an acceptable rating. The low and high beams had good visibility on the straightaway, however they fell short on some of the curves. The upgraded headlights earned a rating of good, with the low beam headlights providing sufficient illumination in all situations. The high beams did well in most situations, except fell a little short on the sharp left curve. Overall, the Tesla earned high marks. If you found this interesting, please subscribe to see more captivating videos about auto safety.